Here's a demo of how to use the PolyStyle PHP Obfuscator. Um, an Obfuscator will take your source code and make it so it's difficult to read. So for example, let's say that you have, here's a, uh, a WordPress, WordPress plugin that I've been working on, and here's the source code. I'm gonna, I want to eventually sell this, this source code, and I want to make sure that no one else can just rip it off or read what it says. So I'm going to use the PolyStyle Obfuscator to jumble everything up and make it so that everything's really hard to read. It'll take the all the variable names and, and function names and scramble them up. It'll remove all the comments and it'll take out all the new lines. This is actually wrapped here because the text editor will will force some wrapping if the, the te if a single line is too long, but everything in this source file is on a single line. So it's it's difficult to, to decipher what is going on in this source code. So here's how you actually use this program. Um, you, you're gonna first bring up the PolyStyle config tool and PolyStyle does two things. It can reformat your source code to make it easier to read and it can also obfuscate it to make it really difficult to read. And this first part here is is all um, the formatters features. We're gonna go over here to the obfuscator tab and it explains what it does and it's relatively simple to use. There's two steps. You can first configure how to use it and then you actually use the second step here to um, to obfuscate your, your code. So let's say in a, in a real world example. So here is the obfuscator settings panel. And the way that this works is uh, when you want to obfuscate a, di a directory of source code, you're going to tell it where that source code is. And the way that it works is a lot of times you're going to have um, a directory that has a, like subdirectories in it. And you want to sort of ignore the first part of your of your directory path and then obfuscate everything um, beneath a certain directory path. So for example, in, in my case for my um, my plugin, I have my my plugin right now in this directory here in it's in the Word, WordPress directory plugins and then WordPress protect is the name of the, the plugin and I want that to go into a directory right next to it so it's going to go into the same subdirectory but then with dash ob to uh, mark that that's the obfuscated directory so I'm going to I'm going to set that there and, and basically it's going to take everything in this directory and stick it over into the obfuscated directory. These other options in here, um, it'll always make a backup of everything that it obfuscates in the uh, uh, directory that you specify um, over here in your, your backups directory. It also uses a secret key so that this makes it so that whenever it obfuscates a variable, it'll obfuscate everything the same way. And you can change this so it'll make it uh, unique to you. All your source code will be re-obfuscated in the same way, but in a different way if you, if you change the secret key here. The extra files are if you want to uh, remove the, like you have a bunch of graphics files that you don't want to have copied over to your obfuscated directory you can you can turn that off but we're going to leave that on because I have some text files I want to keep in there this the obfuscate package directories uh, option is only for languages really that that have the concept of a package so for instance Java and ActionScript both have packages directories uh, PHP does not so that doesn't apply to the, for this case and then this is going to be um, a prefix that is prepended to each variable name to make sure that everything that the the uh, obfuscator creates when it makes a new obfuscated symbol is unique. This only applies to PHP. Um, other languages don't need to use this. They can just they can make simpler uh, variable names because of the way PHP is sort of case insensitive. Uh, it, it treats case between methods and functions differently so you have to use this symbol prefix to make sure everything is unique. Okay, so I'm going to save the changes here. Uh, oh, and one thing that's really important, if you want to make sure that your 
your code is actually going to work with any external API. So for, for instance, this is a WordPress plugin and it can work with WordPress, obviously. So I need to make sure that, that it does not obfuscate things that are outside like its own little world. When it, when it calls into WordPress, I have to tell it which, which things not to obfuscate. So I'm going to select here the, the WP admin and then eventually the WP includes directories. And that'll make sure uh, that it will, it's gonna go out here and, and search for the symbols uh, throughout the, that entire directory tree and see what symbols are being used in those APIs and then not obfuscate those symbols. And I've actually, we don't have to sit here and wait through this entire thing because I've actually already done this. You can see which symbols that it's going to uh, not obfuscate by clicking that button. And then you can go over here to PHP code and you can see here that I have collected the symbols from WP admin and it's it's gone throughout and found all these symbols and it will not obfuscate that those that makes it so that you can still uh, have your code work with existing APIs so I'm going to do that for the includes directory also okay I skipped ahead a little bit there and I have finished uh, extracting all those symbols and now it's got uh, symbols for both those directories. So now everything that I do in my source code will work with the, with WordPress. A couple of other features over here, you can, if there are some symbols that it collects over there that you actually did want to have obfuscated, what you can do is put uh, a file in here. You can put a file uh, in there and put whatever symbols you want to always be obfuscated. And then that'll override these excludes. And also, um, if you once it goes through and obfuscates things, it'll keep track of everything, a dictionary of what gets mapped to what. So for instance, here are some symbols that I have and, and what it has obfuscated those symbols to. And you can change those or you can leave them the same. This just makes, you, makes sure that everything always gets obfuscated to the, exactly the same symbol. Okay, so now actually obfuscating the source code. Um, done here and now all that's left to do is to choose a directory we're going to obfuscate so I'm going to choose my WordPress protect directory to obfuscate and it'll go through and do its thing alright that's done now to actually Oh, you can also run it from the command line, and that's relatively straightforward if you want to integrate it with existing uh, programs. The directions are down here. Okay, now to actually see what it did. Over here is my uh, WordPress protect directory, and I have the source code that I was working on. Uh, that's what it looked like originally. Here is the obfuscated version, um, and it, it created that. So what I'm going to do is show you what the, the current unobfuscated un source code does. Uh, here are the, the, the settings for that. If I refresh this page, it will come back up. Obviously, it's the same thing. Now, if I go over to, uh, if I rename, come over here and rename this to the unobfuscated version and rename the obfuscated version to what WordPress is actually reading, then now we've applied the, now we're running the obfuscated code. And if I refresh the page, it comes up as exactly the same thing. So it, it changed the source code, made it difficult to read, but did not change the functionality. So if you want to check this out, you can download everything at polystyle.com. Thanks very much.